we want to simplify the expression and use only positive exponents. So looking at our fraction, in the numerator we have in parentheses x raised to the power of negative 5, y raised to the power of negative 2, and this is raised to the power of positive 3. In the denominator in parentheses we have x to the fourth, y to the fifth, this is raised to the second power or squared. To begin simplifying, we use the exponent property a raised to the power of m raised to the power of n equals a raised to the power of m times n. So if we have powers to powers, we multiply the exponents. Notice how in this example we cannot begin by simplifying the quotient because the numerator is raised to the third power and the denominator is raised to the second power. So in the numerator, we're going to multiply the exponents by three. In the denominator, we multiply the exponents by two. So in the numerator, we'll have x raised to the power of negative five times three, y raised to the power of negative two times three. In the denominator, we'll have x raised to the power of four times two, y raised to the power of five times two. And now we'll find the products. We have x to the power of negative 15, y raised to the power of negative six in the numerator. In the denominator, we have x raised to the power of four times two is eight, y raised to the power of five times two is 10. And now we'll simplify the quotient using the exponent property a raised to the power of m divided by a raised to the power of n equals a raised to the power of m minus n. So for dividing and the bases are the same, we subtract the exponents and notice how for the difference, it's always the exponent in the numerator minus the exponent in the denominator. So x to the negative 15th divided by x to the eighth is x raised to the power of negative 15 minus eight, and a y to the negative six divided by y to the 10th is equal to y raised to the power of negative six minus 10. So we have x raised to the power of negative 23, y raised to the power of negative 16. Our last step is to use the negative exponent properties shown here because we're asked to use only positive exponents a raised to the power of negative m equals one over a raised to the power of m. One way to help remember this exponent property is to write a raised to the power of negative m as a fraction with a denominator of one. So if we move a to the negative m down to the denominator, it changes the sign of the exponent. So going back to our expression, let's write this as a fraction with a denominator of one and now because both exponents are negative, we'll move x to the negative 23 and y to the negative 16 to the denominator, which will change the sign of the exponents. This is equal to one over x raised to the power of positive 23 and y raised to the power of positive 16. I hope you found this helpful.